welcome to my channel today's video is sponsored by emma sneakers they sent me this pair of yeezy slides and i'll be unboxing them showing y'all how they look they are from stock x um they are a size 10 they are too big for my feet i don't know why they sent me a size too big but they are legit they are cute i probably will be giving them away or giving them to my boyfriend i don't know the bottom of the shoe says adidas like y'all it's really giving they are the foam runners as well they have like this little um i don't know how to explain it like a camo look on it it's not like fully black it got a couple gray spots these are some trendy cute shoes everybody be having these this is like my second time getting a pair of these that i can't fit they're either too big or too small so i guess it's just not meant for me to have a pair but y'all i definitely recommend they definitely are good quality the box definitely gave adidas it also came with a stock x car inside y'all shipping did not take that long also inside the box is the sizing as i mentioned they gave me a size 10 i do not wear a size 10 i wear a 7 so yes i can't do anything with them but if y'all are interested in shopping with emma sneakers everything will be in the description box you can use my discount code to get money off if you are interested in shopping with them but know that i did send you so yeah sure let's get right into this vlog i hope y'all enjoy welcome to my channel if you are new welcome if you are old, welcome i am back with another video and today's video is a vlog slash come with me to get my belly pierced me and my cousin is going to get our belly pierced today well right now as i speak but i just want to start this vlog off i will be taking y'all with me i know i said i was gonna get this done a long time ago but i've been hesitant i've been debating really skeptical but today is the day so i am taking y'all with me we're gonna go get that done after we leave from doing that we will be going to the mall so that she can find her son to work for her birthday so yeah sure let's go I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm gonna clean that. I can die. Oh, that's cute. This is exactly how you should clean it every day, three times a day. Don't touch it with okay. your bare hands at all. Just spray and pat dry. When it starts to develop crust, mm -hmm. spray the crust first and then use the wet paper towel to get it off. Do not pick the crust while it's dry. It's like picking a scab, okay? Mm -hmm. um, if you skip it these days, it will just prolong your healing. So make sure you clean it every day. Even when it stops hurting and you think it's healed, it might not be. Mm -hmm. If you change it on your own, that's so good. So just okay, how much that. is the spray? Um, It's 10. Okay, can you add that with the, um, yes. with the, yeah. Stab a puppy ass, why you act like this, you're so exclusive, bitch, that's public ass. Shit, no nigga, we don't fuck. Do you think it's 
Fuck. Go ahead. You trying to keep it? <laughs> yeah, I like that. The they should have that on the ones over there. Wow. Wow. She just said we got three minutes to be close these motherfucking doors and I get to go home. <laughs> like then working at the mall be that tiring. Bitch, I want a mall job. That's what I, I want people to come see me at my job and I get them free shit. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, we finna go to this restaurant called Mc McCoco's. I'm gonna see y'all once we get there. We finna smoke in the car. Most definitely. I ain't just stopping to get some blunts. But we finna smoke in the car. Plus we go in there. It's close by, so I'm gonna come back to y'all. Once we dare, y'all know I am. Give me a drink. This bitch, it's been a minute. before i end out this video this vlog you know talk to y'all in case you know i go mia for a while saturday i went out with some friends you know i went and got my feet done with some friends i came back home i went out with some more friends i didn't drive my car none saturday day right so in the midst of that i ended up coming back home drunk i lay downstairs and i laid in my mama bed you know because i was drunk type shit i wasn't finna make it upstairs probably like 20 30 minutes into laying down my boyfriend's supposed to be on his way to come get me and i'm laying down and i hear a big ass boom big ass crash and i hear your car your car mind y'all my car is parked in front of the house so i instantly drunk and all I instantly just jump up and run outside somebody ran into my whole car literally ran into my whole car fucked up my whole car i'm about to go outside and show y'all so that y'all can get an understanding of what i'm saying but the whole thing is fucked up not only that they kept going the girl ended up getting out the car um it was a boy and a girl the girl ended up getting out the car you know because she couldn't breathe she was you know faint fainting in and out type shit and the boy ended up pulling off in the car because the car started smoking and i ended up getting information contacting them afterwards you know about it like you know who finna give me some money for my car because mind you my car wasn't insured it was a used car but it's the principal that i paid my money for it nobody responded back nobody said nothing there's really nothing that i could do about it i can go to crash support you know this and that put out a report but it's literally not like somebody's gonna come help me buy a car tomorrow 
so i'm back at square one not only that my birthday in a couple weeks so it's really like a, i'm back in square one i can't even enjoy my birthday how i really wanted to my main focus now is getting in a car and moving like i don't even want to have fun i don't even want to kick it i don't even want to do nothing you know what I'm, saying? I'm really not in the birthday spirit anymore i'm trying to you know get myself back into it because you know i'll turn 21 you only turn 21 once but y'all this probably is the most fucked up is birthday like i gotta buy a whole nother car a couple weeks before my birthday and i want to take a trip and i want to wear designer and i want to do this and i want to get a house afterwards you know and i'm back in square one so we finna go outside i'm finna show y'all how my car look before i um call this old truck and had them come junky i look kind of cute but y'all the reason i'm junking this car is because it's fucked but this is the back the back of my car where my wheel is i'm showing y'all and I'm really fucked up about it because, like, what the fuck? Do y'all see that? Not only that, the whole windshield is busted. Like, look at my fucking car. Then these doors don't open. These doors are stuck. They do not open. I don't know how, but this is the front. <laughs> like, they hit it so hard that it dragged my car from being parked where it was at like to a couple feet ahead so y'all this is my car uh, i will be trying to give me a car within the next couple weeks because you know that's my main focus you can't get around you can't do nothing without a car and i hate asking people for shit so yeah and y'all that's not even it well i just go outside to show out the car some told me to look inside the car and get the rest of my stuff out the car and I look inside the car and somebody didn't ramshack the car. Somebody done already went through the glove compartment, the the middle armrest. Like somebody already went through the car and tried to steal whatever the fuck they could. And literally was nothing in the car. So it's really like a what the fuck. I can't be great for nothing. Before I end out this vlog, I wanted to do a smoke session. A little chit chat. A little update. It is days later since my car was in an accident. It's my first day actually being at home. I've been at my boyfriend's house, you know. I've been trying to, you know, escape the world type shit. You know, we're not really focused on real life. But you know, now it's a new week. It's time to get back to real life, you know, reality. But y'all, pissed is not even a word. It's not even like I had the best car. You know what I mean? That was my car. That was my car. Like, I paid my own money for that. Did nobody help me? None of that. And not only that, y'all, a lot of people was asking me, you know, are you okay? Was you good? I was not in the car. As I mentioned before, I was not in the car. But I really want to let everybody know that I appreciate y'all for checking up on me, making sure I'm good, I was straight, whatever the case was. Because I got friends and family who watched my post and didn't even say nothing, asked if I was okay, anything of that sort. So I'm definitely appreciative of y'all. No bullshit. And not only that, y'all, I end up sitting on my blunt, so my blunt kind of, like, kind of curved. But, y'all, my mind been everywhere, like, I haven't even been smoking as much as I regularly smoke. Like, I haven't even been doing me. And not only that, somebody broke into my car, and somebody texted me, like, why would you do the windows raised down? When they hit my car, the windshield busted. The back windshield busted, like the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So anybody could, could just climb inside the car. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get doors unlocked. Even if I did leave it unlocked, it wasn't nothing in my car for anybody to even go inside still. Also, y'all know I be reading my comments. And in my last vlog, y'all was commenting like, um, we glad to see you and your boo back together. This and that. Now, I never said we was back together. I never said we was back together. But I feel like we got a lot of spots that we need to work on you know what i'm saying because not everything is for the internet and that's where i be fucking up at but once something you know is affecting me or when something is on my mind i'm gonna get it off my mind you know what I mean? If I feel like I should express it through social media, then that's what I'm gonna do. But I need to learn how to stop doing it. I need to learn how to shut the fuck up sometimes. Everything don't need a reaction. You know what I'm saying? And like he was saying, I took something and ran with it and made it into something, which I did, but it was still the principle. Like, you didn't reassure me. You didn't, you know, you didn't apply pressure. You know what I'm saying? 
So y'all, from here on out, I will be keeping my love life to myself because obviously it's on and off. And I'm tired of going back and forth saying we're together, we're not together, we're together, we're not together. So we're just going to leave it where it's at. So that's that. I will keep my private life more to myself once I got it more figured out. That's a better way to say it. I don't want to be a hypocrite, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be, you know, preaching to y'all and telling y'all this and that, giving y'all relationship advice when I'm not even taking my own advice. Or I'm not even, you know what I mean? I just told myself I was not going to turn this into a whole smoke session. I was just going to talk a little bit. And not only that, I don't know what I want to do for my birthday now. Um, my main focus is to get a car because I don't want to celebrate my birthday, go all out, and then after that, I still don't have a car. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be summertime after my birthday, which is the end of May. It's going to be June. You know, it's time to, you know, I'm going to put priorities first. It's time to put the fun shit to the side. It's time to actually put my head on and screw that bitch on tight. You know what I'm saying? And I be saying you get what I'm saying a lot. But I know the girls out there that understand me and that get me. Y'all know what I mean. Not only that, y'all, my belly piercing. I didn't even get to talk about that. My belly piercing, um, it's been almost what, a week. A couple days will make a week. Three days from now will make a week. Um, so far it's been going good, but like earlier today, like an hour or two ago, it started pussing. Um, the girl said it is normal just spray the, you know, the care kit stuff on it. Other than that, I keep forgetting that I got it. Like, I keep snagging it, you know, hitting it. Like, I just keep forgetting it's there. But it's so cute. I can't wait to take pictures and, you know, wear different outfits and shit with my belly piercing. Because, cause, as y'all know, I was not fucking with the belly piercing at all. But I end up getting it. And I'm thinking about getting my septum. I don't know. I don't know. I might. But, y'all, that shit look like it hurt. And I feel like everybody's pain tolerance is different. You know what I mean? I love tattoos. But I don't really like piercings like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. It will be in the description box, y'all. Don't forget to go subscribe to my other channel. We're going to run to 100K. Y'all know the vibes. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. Period. And if you haven't watched the rest of my videos, just go catch up. Because what are you doing? Mm -hmm.